So let's talk about the dirty secret of wireless, at least wireless within the consumer world, wireless in your home. The problem is the FCC, which controls and regulates all radio transmission in the United States, says to access point manufacturers, will allow you to transmit power, RF energy, into the air, but we're going to constrain you to produce devices like this Deco Wi-Fi 6E access point, but we are going to cripple this device. We're only going to allow you to produce so little power out. In other words, the RF energy that comes out of this is so low, it might get through two walls and be effective. That's the dirty secret of wireless. Now that's the FCC's constraint on access point is that you can do this. We're going to allow the public, Joe, Billy, Martha, to go buy these radio transmitters, but they are going to be built with so low power output that by time they go through a sheetrock wall, they've lost half of their power the second sheetrock wall, they're going to be almost unusable. That's the dirty secret of wireless in your home. Now, the next dirty little secret of wireless is the FCC deliberately chose 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. The reason they chose those frequencies and they allow manufacturers like Linksys, TP-Link, D-Link, Netgear to use those frequencies is that they fade away to uselessness in about 30 meters. So 30 meters, they're just useless. And they do that deliberately. They do not want you interfering with radio frequency devices that your neighbor owns or the person who lives in the apartment above you or the person who lives in the apartment below you. Now, if you live in Utah and you're out in the middle of the country and you're the only person in 10 miles, who cares? But most Americans live in more congested spaces. And so the FCC constrain wireless transmission into the air so that you cannot interfere with anyone nearby. Whatever their RF radios that they use, that could be cell phones, that could be whatever, you're not going to interfere with their products. So these produce almost no power. They have a distance of, you're lucky if, if it's 30 meters. That's what engineers from the IEEE are faced with in designing these so they work in your home. So what do IEEE engineers do? They get out all the black magic in their toolbox. Beamforming, spatial streaming, MIMO, high values of QAM, everything that they can mathematically, using physics, RF transmission, all the black magic tools that they can pull out of their toolbox in these Wi-Fi standards to alleviate this low power problem. To get a decent signal, decent bandwidth, reasonable latency, wireless transmission and communication in your home and produces almost no RF power. That's the difficulty of home wireless.